ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Talk Shop Show. Today, as usual, we have a very, very interesting guest, uh, Danielle Johnson, who is the CEO of Innovation Credit Union in Saskatchewan. Uh, Innovation Credit Union is actually one of the largest, uh, the top 25 largest credit unions in Canada, around 60,000 members, which is huge and uh, are predominantly uh, one of the greatest, biggest credit union, greatest, yes, here we go. Uh, a little bit of publicity there. Uh, yeah. One of the largest, obviously the largest, one of the largest in Saskatchewan. Uh, so um, I'm here with my colleague, Erica Aguilar, who's the Senior Vice President of Complete CU Services. One of the, um, one of the questions that I would have is, in terms of the liquidity, uh, it's it's not uncommon, obviously, that uh, a lot of credit unions uh, across Canada are having this uh, uh, excess liquidity, um, and uh, which is kind of, I mean, in in a way, uh, ironic because uh, prior to the pandemic, it was the larger credit unions uh, had little uh, liquidity and were looking for liquidity. Um, Going forward, uh, let's say post pandemic and also uh, considering consumer behaviors and what I'm referring to is uh, the demographic of credit unions in, in uh, at least in Ontario and, and, and some other areas are, um, you know, more, more uh, uh, top heavy in terms of, of, of seniors uh, that are in the membership rather than um, earlier or, or, or younger generations and, and that generation obviously aren't, uh, aren't saving a lot of money because credit is so accessible. And I think everybody in Canada, uh, you know, has, has benefited over the last uh, 15 years of low interest rates. Um, so what is your, is your, what are your thoughts around, uh, in the short term and maybe long term? to get that liquidity off the books uh, in the short term and then in the long term to continue to to uh, obtain that uh, liquidity from members well in the short term you know we're, we're really looking at uh, trying to find ways to deploy this liquidity appropriately because um, we believe that even though uh, our businesses are hoarding cash and so are consumers to an extent. Once things get back to normal and people are more comfortable, we'll start to see that liquidity be deployed into certain things. And, and so we don't want to lend it all out and then get into a more of a liquidity crunch as the, the economy returns. Uh, but we're certainly not in that case right now. We're actually looking for opportunity. We're working with our peers and partners to not only try and grow organically, but also participate in some of those, those um, opportunities. The, the thing is with Innovation Credit Union specifically is we primarily operate on that Western side of Saskatchewan. And going into the pandemic, our economy just wasn't where it used to be. And then it was exacerbated by the pandemic. Where, you know, what we're trying to do is work with partners that are enjoying some of the, the uh, economic growth because it really is pocketed throughout the province, pocketed throughout Canada. Uh, we'll talk about it maybe you know, in a little bit, but the, one of the big reasons we want to become a federal credit union is so that we're not encumbered by provincial walls. We want to have the flexibility to do business across Canada because the reality is, is that 97%, or sorry, um, 93% of the, of the market is still dominated by the banks. So we believe as a credit union, as a credit union system, there's lots of opportunity and we're not looking to wildly grow. We just want to have access to different markets. And the pandemic is exposing that for us because when you don't have that flexibility to find where there is activity or seek it out and you're confined by your current environment, it really has, um, you know, brought about the, one of the reasons why we believe having that flexibility is important. 
Um, if anything, the pandemic forced cons consumers to use and trust technology in purchases on um, delivery of products. How had this impact the delivery of services as well? Yeah, we, we totally agree. Like sometimes, you know, when these negative events happen, you want to try and find opportunity. And, and one of the things early on in the pandemic that happened to at least our credit union is that we did close a number of locations. And, and that, that forced um, our staff, but also our membership to do business differently, to leverage some of the, the digital capabilities that we have as a credit union. And we worked with them if they weren't comfortable, you know, with the, the technology, because we also didn't want to, um, you know, I guess, pressure our, our membership to change their behaviors. But what we noted is, was a lot of behavior shifted instantly. And we noticed even when we opened our locations, the traffic is a lot less than it used to be. So that, that event really, um, I think, moved consumer behavior in a, in a six month period, which would typically happen over, you know, a 12 or 18 month period. So it's really accelerated the change in consumer behavior. And we've noted that in some of our post, um, you know, reopening of our location traffic. So we're really seeing uh, a lot of that. And we've been working with our membership to do that. The other thing that we did was, if you don't have um, members coming in necessarily, we redeployed uh, our, our staff group, and we, we've moved our, our call centers typically around 20, 30 people, but we instantly moved that to having access to over 100. Our wait times in our call center were less than 20 seconds. And, and when you think about some of the examples out there when you're trying to get a hold of someone in different industries and you hear these one, two hour wait times, it actually, it actually um, went the other direction for us because we had access through our technology um, to all of our, our staff members and, and it really helped um, our membership, um, I guess, get comfortable and confident that um, they can do business differently. Perhaps you could give uh, some courses to uh, the CRA. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> yeah, um... yeah, that's fantastic. You know what, and just like you said it, every challenge comes with an opportunity. And there is no doubt that implementing and thinking of the members first, you guys have been able to find a way. It's, it's amazing to know that you can contact the financial institution that you partner with and you will have your answer within 20 seconds or at least get to talk to someone mm -hmm. within a reasonable period of time. 